Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this brand new Keurig K Express Essentials. This is sold exclusively at Walmart and it sells for $55. Keurig is claiming this to be their cheapest Keurig that somebody can buy. This is the first video in a series of videos I'm going to do on this. The first one will be the unboxing, then I'll do um, a detailed review, then I'll do how to descale, and then I'll do another one on how to use a reusable K-cup to make a cup of coffee. So this was not available at my local Walmart, but it was on the walmart.com website, and it did come in two days with free shipping. I got the black version. It comes in two other colors, kind of like a red and a greenish blue. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we got inside. All right, comes with a coupon of some sort and the instruction manual. So Keurig does a really good job of packaging their items. They've got this, they've got this down to a science. So let's, it's very lightweight and that's all you get in the box. I'm going to take this plastic off. Okay, so it comes with several pieces of tape on it. I'm going to take all the tape off. Okay, so I got all the tape off. This is a very lightweight Keurig. This is probably the lightest weight Keurig I've ever had. It's got a, looks like a really nice place. It looks like their standard needle, standard needle in the top. Nice big buttons, drip tray. On the right hand side here, we do have a reservoir. Pretty nice reservoir. I do, I do like the handle. Seems like it's easy to carry. The water reservoir will accept. It does not come with a filter, but you can buy the tall handle water filter, so that's nice. And the reservoir fits on there relatively easy. There's, these new Keurigs are starting to come with this label, do not remove while, so don't remove the reservoir while it's brewing. Over on this side, it's just kind of plain, no cord storage. Now this is interesting, it is a two-prong cord. Most Keurigs come with three prongs. So it does fit under a standard 19 inch cabinet. You know, the unit's about maybe 17 and a half inches with the handle all the way up. So it fits really nice under a kitchen cabinet. It's only about six inches, maybe six and a half inches wide. Front to back about 11 inches. So if you do have it under a kitchen cabinet, the reservoir is very easy to get on and off. I do like that. So the cord is about 29 and a half inches long, almost 30. And on the bottom side, we do have some rubber feet. And that's what the bottom side looks like. And here's what the bottom side of the brewer looks like too. So the height with the drip tray is about six inches. Without the drip tray, it says it can fit a seven inch uh, travel mug. Yeah, I'd say it could fit a seven inch travel mug. This one is seven inches and it fits under there just fine. So we do have an add water light and a descale light. It did say online that the descale light comes on automatically after 250 brews. So it does have just a, an overall plastic feel to it. I don't see any, you know, the, the handle's plastic. It's kind of a different kind of plastic, but it's plastic. You know, it's very, very lightweight, very lightweight. Needle basket, the needle, that looks nice. Yeah, it looks very nice overall. I do like the design of it. This is going to compete with the Keurig K-Compact that is sold at Walmart. It sells for $60, but it looks like kind of an older design. This looks like a more modern design. So the manuals are very basic, usually from Keurig. It's got brew sizes, so yeah, it's got six, eight, and ten. That's the three brew sizes you get. And we're gonna do a rinse and fill. So we're just gonna fill the water reservoir up, 
we're not going to put a cake up in and we're going to run water through it the first time. They want you to kind of, it's called a cleansing brew. So it's a very basic, very basic uh, Keurig. Nothing fancy, no strong brew, no temperature selection, no fancy needles. Um, just a very basic Keurig machine, kind of an entry level. So somebody that was thinking of, of starting to um, fix a cake up for a coffee, this would be a good entry level model. So again, the water reservoir was very easy to fill up. It does have a max line right there. I'm a little bit short of it. Lid fits on there nice. It's got like this little notch, little notch there that goes in there. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. Let's turn it on. Okay, those lights are like white. So let's lift the handle again. Make sure your needle basket's in. Make sure uh, no cake up in. They want you to do a rinsing brew. So now these are flashing. When I lifted the handle up, I'm just going to press the 8. So it starts brewing pretty quick. So far it's not super loud. And I selected the 8 ounce, so the 8 ounce light is on, but you, I could have selected a 10 or a 6. So, so far, very quiet. So after it's done brewing, all three lights come on. This is called the, the rinsing brew. We're just gonna throw, we're just gonna dump this down the drain. And now your Keurig is ready to use. So this is a very quiet Keurig. I was, I'm, I'm very impressed with how quiet this is so far. Check out my next video. I'm gonna show you how to make a cup of coffee, kind of a detailed review on it. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.